What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Ange. And, and this is Lamar. <laughs> and we are Lamar and Angela. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited that you came in to see and drop by our family today. If you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are a middle-aged couple who are in search of life and life abundantly. A couple years ago, we made the decision that we want to suck the marrow out of life and really experience all that life has to offer and went on a journey to do just that. Left everything behind, moved from Maryland to Mexico with our two kids, three kids technically, and two dogs. And now we are living our best life here in Mexico. Yes. We want to encourage you to do the same. And if you're interested in coming apart and being a part of our shenanigans, join the family. Yes. Okay. And we're, we're, we're taking a little bit of a detour off of what we normally would talk about because there's been something very popular in social media the last few weeks. It's been going viral. And I know y'all have seen it and have uh, actually kind of been a buzz about the whole thing. And that's Miss Risa Tisa's who the heck did I marry? Exactly. So exactly. Today, we're going to talk about it. Yes. As a couple who is going to be married 20 years mm -hmm. this year. In 20 years this year. We've been together longer than that, yeah. but married 20. Yes. We got a little, little wisdom to impart. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So just recently, we had a chance when we were in South Africa. In, yes. In Durban. In Durban binged watched the entire series. Yes. And I'm surprised he watched it, but it was really intriguing than a mug. I mean, we were we were locked and loaded, y'all, after we started watching it. And it was like, wow. Yeah, because as we watched it, I was making comments, but that's not good. What's going on? Are you are you sure you want to do this? Right, right, yeah. right. So one of the things that she said in her conversation that she was very upfront, very transparent, and right off the rip said, there were some warning signs, some red flashing red flags yep. that I completely ignored. And so I wanted your take on some of these red flags that she saw and, and observed. Uh, and the social media one with the two different IDs. Right off the rip, that was the thing that jumped that, out to you? That was because for me, I only have one persona out on social media. There's nothing else out there. If you go from Facebook to, to and I barely use any other, instead I just kind of watch stuff to laugh and you know find things that are funny. But it's mostly Facebook. I rarely use Instagram, but I do have an ID there. Um, and I have TikTok, but you know I like to watch the puppies. Um, and that's it. So realistically, there's only one me out there that most people see day in and day out. Right, right. And there's nothing else. You won't find anything else out there. There's no Finstas. I didn't even know that existed until somebody told me. A fake, oh, a fake Instagram? A yeah, Finsta? Finsta. Look okay. at Lamar being all. Whatever. I mean, that... that <laughs> <laughs> that right there, I mean, that's that's on the kin to the uh, going to have an examination and going to wash my hands and the water wasn't on and the water wasn't on because people who go in there to get pee tested. Oh, I was water, wondering, what are you talking water about? Water down their, their, their pee when they're in the room. And I didn't even know that was a thing because I don't walk in those circles. Right. So uh, this whole thing of fensters and faking people out and hiding and sneaking around and, you know, having a burner phone and all that. I got too much other stuff to worry about. <laughs> well, off the rip, what, what struck me was she said that it was very intoxicating. Their first date. Yeah. Their very first date. Her car broke down, or no, her tire. She blew, tire. she blew a tire, and she called him and said she was going to be late. And he said, "I'll come to you." And the thing about it, he did a very gentlemanly thing, right. which was great, was to change her tire, right? And then took her to a place to get a tire. You can't ride on this donut, and took her to get another tire. Now I ain't gonna lie, 
I ain't gonna lie. That would that that would have given him brownie points. Yeah, absolutely. If, if if it was our first date, yeah, and something like that happened to me, and you popped out and jumped out with their dun, 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 kind of thing, I would that would have been like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And he seemed to, from the jump, give her a bit of a, I don't know, look like he was trying to sell her this fairy tale. Yeah. Right yeah, off the yeah, rip. He was. Which kind of made her very susceptible and vulnerable to, ooh, is this the one? Well, and, and when you, all of your friends around you are getting married in relationships ooh. and you're not, it, 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 it becomes, I want to be in that. Oh. I want to be in that. Well, let me ask you this. Did you ever have that kind of feeling when... You were when we were dating, or or even before me, when those those chicks that you were dating beforehand. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, I didn't feel that way. Um, I, you know, I was I wanted to get married. I was looking for the right person, and God brought me the right person through a series of events <laughs> um, that you know worked out for the both of us. But no, I wasn't, my clock wasn't ticking or anything oh. like that. I wasn't like, oh my God, all my friends are getting married. I want to be married. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Because no. I, I, if I wasn't, if it no. wasn't going to be, I didn't need a whole bunch of chaos in my life. I didn't, I don't like a lot of drama. I, I like things to be peaceful and things to just flow. And, you know, yeah, life will bring you different curveballs. There'll be problems, uh, things that have to be resolved. But other than that, I don't want to force something. It's like forcing a round peg into a square hole. Mm -hmm. Not doing that. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they, they started off in a forcing way, kind of, but they definitely, in my and opinion, rushing. move too, too fast. fast. Move way too way fast. Way too fast. Okay. So COVID immediately happens and the lockdown starts and we're going to lock down together. Uh, whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, no, no, that 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 was something that I saw as something that's a problem because when you have two people together, right? To, you know, this is when things start. What else you gonna do? Right. What else you gonna do? Right. Uh, COVID. Were well, you gonna sit around and play Monopoly all day? <laughs> Bid whisk. I mean, what you gonna do? I mean, you you walking around in the same house and you're gonna see, you know. But you heard, just heard met this guy. You just met this guy to want to 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 sequester or quarantine together. You just met this fool. Yeah. You just you met don't him. know no. him from a can of paint. Right now, for us, COVID was a wonderful thing for me. I mean, the whole we were all at home, snuggle and bugly as a rug. You know, it, it was nice. But I yeah, enjoy. But that's, that's after. How many years of marriage? Oh, right, right, right. That was right. 16. That was, yeah. So, I mean. I looked forward to being at home with my husband and my my children, and, and we popped popcorn and all that kind of It was yeah. great. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. I loved it. But I know that there were a lot of couples who did not make it out of COVID, no. who did not uh, escape COVID, because they got in the same place together, and it was like, you get on my nerves. Right. You get on my absolute last nerve. That wasn't. <laughs> you know, what happened with us. Yeah. Um, the the fact that he never really made it clear what Tommy did, how he got, I mean, he, yeah, he said he was a uh, vice president. Vice, well, he went from a manager. Or oh, right. A, a he was dish, moving he, from a manager, manager to a vice, vice president. president. Right, right. Now, now that right there was, was, girlfriend did not do her due diligence. She did not do her Googles. She did not do her Googles because mm -hmm. if he was at that level of management oh, yeah. and LinkedIn, moving into vice president. Go to the webpage, you see his face going like this. Exactly. Uh, you should have had some sort of LinkedIn, something to be able to verify, right. you know, trust, but verify what he did and if he worked for this condiment company like he supposedly did a large condiment company right and he was the vice president then that should have been able to be verified the other thing was is that while he was a vice president he was out in the field a lot right that was the other thing his clothing he yeah. didn't see okay you're a vice president but you got kind of like a uniform to yeah. wear Ooh, that that right there 
big red flag. That should have told her right there. Right. Something in the milk ain't white mm-hmm. and something don't sound right. right. Mm-mm. Okay. But also the other thing that got me was when he um, was supposedly buying this company car. Oh, that was a the whole mess. company car thing that he was supposed to pick, go to the place and pick out the car, pick out the car. And, and then, then pay for it, and right. then re, re, uh, what? No. I've never no. seen that kind of situation. Companies have fleets of company cars, and then they assign, assign them to you right, a company car, car. car, and you go and pick it up. Here's your car. Here's the keys. You go get the car, and that's it. It's not going to a dealership and picking out what you want. Right. I want a Mercedes S class. No. Right. No. They have a fleet of of back in the day. You know, Chrysler K cars and move forward. Right. It's going to be like Ford Tauruses or right. something like that. Right. But you're not going to have some elegant class, you know, you know, luxury car that you're going to be driving around. But even see, if, even if it was, you won't get to pick. Oh, I want a cream color or a buttery no. royal blue. They're pretty much all the same color. What? No, I was like that. No. She should have. That didn't sound right. No. Or what have you? But then, okay, so she's she's moved in with the guy. They've moved into her place. Another mistake. Yeah. But okay, he's come there with his stuff. He's there. They're having extracurricular activities yeah. to the point that she gets pregnant. Yeah. Ah, now again, you just met this guy. You're having unprotected sex with this dude that you don't even I really know, know all that well. Girl, no, yeah. no, that no, no, a no, no, no. Drama that I don't need to be tied to somebody who may turn out to be some jerk, and obviously he was at the end. But to barring be- the jerk stuff, has he been tested? Does he have an AIDS test? Does right. he? Does he? Is he clean? You having unprotected sex? You don't know what his thing been. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-oh. No. Yeah. yeah, this he was run, definitely running game. He right. was looking for a meal ticket. He was looking for somebody to lay up on. That's what it sounded like and to me. And so he was, and he, and, and the thing about it, uh, there are people who have talked about the fact that men, in some ways, are are not. I don't want to say pregnant, but hunters. Uh, yeah. You know, and so if you see a woman out there that's kind of and they're like, oh yeah, I got one right here. Mm-hmm. And they start tailoring their conversation to a, appeal to what they're looking for. Oh yeah. And so then, you know, it's it's a matter of just reeling them in. It's a done deal after yeah, that point. After, and, and they and they do that. So this guy saw that he had a mark. Right. Uh yeah. More than likely. He had a mark and he knew that he had one. Now it, it's it's not known if he was had many lines in the water fishing, trying to this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Mm-hmm. So, but he got her and started reeling her in because he saw that this is somebody that I could work work over. Oh. And the the thing with me was that I didn't know what his end game was because right. it wasn't like. She had a lot of money. Okay. I mean, she had a job. She was supporting herself. She was doing okay for herself in, in her occupation because she worked for, what was she doing? Oh, oh, she worked for uh, the police department. Oh, right, right. Now, that was another thing. You worked for the police, but you couldn't have run a background check, had your homegirl, somebody had run a, a check on it. But she, but she did say, I think she, she did say she that she... Ran a check off of but she paid had, her own money. But she has to because she would have gotten in trouble, right? And she paid her own money, but that wasn't his. Turns out that wasn't his social security number, right? And all so, that kind so of stuff. So she, she, in the way she got the social security number, she, she memorized it and thought that maybe I didn't get the right social security number. Mm. Um, so when she actually got the correct one and ran it again. She got a total different result. Right. But that was way too late by that time. But you know what the other thing is for me that would have killed this from jump? His response when she had the miscarriage. He didn't even go to the hospital. That would have been that that's 
He didn't even go to the hospital. You're fired. Yeah. You're fired. That's major. That's a that's a major, major violation. Major, major, major thing. This is hurtful. It would have been so for me becoming a father mm -hmm. and then this going not in the most positive way. I'm sitting there going, okay, what do I what what's going on? Oh, go to the hospital. Right. You know, I gotta be there. I have There's to. There's no so, way that we my both co need support. My co -worker, co worker should have to take me to to the hospital. It was his assistant. No, her her co worker. Oh, that's right. It was her her co worker took her to the hospital. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. That would have been. He would have been fired. He was fired. And the whole time he was running game because he was his assistant. So he he was his own assistant. And that whole thing was crazy. Yeah. So her going to the hospital, having a miscarriage, that's major. Right. That's huge. Mm -hmm. So the why fact weren't that you, you weren't there? there? Why weren't you there? Yeah, he would have um, had to get out. Yeah. He would have had to go. And that would have been the end of that for me. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Off rip. You know, so so wait. So you're gonna run to a rescue. And change your attire, but you can't be there when she has a miscarriage. Right. I mean, one is a a, a problem, easily resolved, but a miscarriage. Yeah. That right there is a tragedy. That is uh, hurtful. Mm -hmm. That is something that sticks with you for a long time, and you and that pain is hard to to, right. to to get away from. Right. You mourn, right? You go through grief. Absolutely, absolutely. No, you you yeah. need you need the support of the the man that you're with, and if he's a man, he yep. would have been there to support you. Yep. Now, would I have known everything to say and all the things to do? No, but you were there just your presence to right. give aid and comfort the best way you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm. That would have been grounds for dismissal, yeah. immediate dismissal. So uh, then barring after that, when they were trying to, the housing situation. Oh, that whole situation. Looking where, for the houses was crazy. So I, my thing is, who was he talking to? She said he was using his agent that working through that person. And that agent was not non-existent because in actuality, there was no contracts written. Right. So you, you, you were once a real estate agent. Correct. So in, in that regard, she is trying to buy, they're trying to buy a house and she discovers that it, he wasn't really, that the house was already sold or something like right. that. No, it, she looked at, went and found out that the house, when he said that he, that they The contract fell through, fell through or something. It but wasn't the, that. The house had, had already been, been sold. sold. And yeah, we're right on track to. Right. By the house. The, the deposit, there was no deposit put down. He said he put a deposit down, but he never did put a deposit down. Right, right. So right there should have been the end of that. And, and she knew that. And she knew that he was lying. Yeah. At that point, it, it that should have been all bets off. The the uh, the miscarriage. Yes. And then you're going to have this whole situation with that. Mm -mm. But he did it multiple times on houses. Again. And then when she got involved. Right. All through the, the, the chain of events, when it came down for him putting the deposit, he never did. And she was like, okay, you were supposed to put a deposit, the earnest money down. Right. He hadn't done it. Right. So uh, what are you doing, girl? Now, I'm not trying to beat up on her at all at all because i love the fact that she's transparent and yeah. her her the purpose of her putting the video out or putting those series of TikTok videos out was so that she could help some other woman right who might find herself or might see herself in that situation and so i get it i i completely get it now yeah. we've done some stupid things for love foolish silly um what's I the mean... most stupid thing you've done for love I couldn't even remember because I've been in love with you since 2004. Good answer. Good answer. That's right. Good uh, answer. There's nothing, there, there's nothing that's in my memory banks. <laughs> 
from that point on, it's all been a race. Good answer. Good job. Good job. That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once they were together and they were the the one of the creepier aspects to this whole story that she told was the fact that he got up and he had conversations with his brother, brother every day on the phone for a couple, you know, every day in the morning and you could hear him actually sounding like he's having conversation and it turns out. And he was saying, tell her I said hello, give my regards. Right. And then it turns out he wasn't even speaking to his brother. No. And wasn't even on the phone with anybody. It was right. just putting up a phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. It, it, that, creepy. Yeah. Very, crazy. Yep. Very creepy. Yes, one of our dogs is in the room here. But yeah, that that alone seemed kind of weird. But again, if you had took some time to slow things down, yeah. you might have been able to find that. My general rule, if nobody's asked, but my general rule is to go through a complete entire set of seasons before you even think about getting serious right. with someone. That's just my general rule, a yeah. set of seasons, because, and we're talking winter, spring, summer, and fall, then you can be free to possibly entertain, maybe are we gonna get serious? But prior to that, people are just showing you their representative. Yeah. You're not getting the real person, you're getting the best version of themselves and the 90 day version of themselves at that. Yeah. You're not even getting the real deal how they act on a bad day, how they act when they're under pressure, how they act when they're, you know, responding. You haven't had a real down and dirty argument. You don't know how this person mm -hmm. reacts with to pressure. You don't know how they react when they're sad. Are they are they savers? Are they spenders? How they you don't know any of those types of things. And you can't possibly get to know them like that in a month or two. Two yeah. months. The the and even more creepier on that level is is that when she started digging and got in touch with the previous. Oh, you mean after after everything had started to go awry? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was creepy to me. That um, the same experience mm. that uh, the previous uh, young lady said, "I don't want to have anything to do with him. Don't bring him my way." Wow. Yeah. Uh, and she said that, you know, uh, she gave him, gave her the skinny on what had happened. Um, and it was all pretty much the same. Oh, this is our cat. This is our, this is our, who the heck did we adopt dog? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is our dog candy. So she's just coming to get a little love right now. So yeah. she's getting some love. Yeah. But yeah, so the, the one of the issues that I thought was really also creepy was how they were, you know, the family had details. Her the the previous wife had. Did she, she didn't even. Did she know about the previous wife? Did he say? Did she say that they? Did she found out about her? She found out about the previous wife. after the fact, or yes. it, yeah, right? Because he had put down uh, that he had no other marriages right. or something like that. I was like, oh, but you had a whole wife in these streets right. too. Right. It, Did not live in California. Oh, right. He was nothing but on the East Coast, Atlanta. Um, and then I think one time uh, either Jersey or, or Rhode Island, Rhode Island, Island or, something or something like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. So he, he lied about a whole host of things. There's too many lies. It's too Way many lies. Too many lies. And it was lies on on small stuff, lies on big stuff. I I don't do liars like that. I can't. So it, it after the very first time I found out the lie, I would have been out. I'm yeah. sorry, I would have been out. Yeah, he he was. Uh, but getting back to her, I I really feel bad for her. Yeah. And in, in the fact that he preyed upon her like that. Yeah. And that she went through that miscarriage without any support. Mm -hmm. That. Um, she took her hands off the wheel. And that's the thing that when you look at the whole situation with the housing, um, she did not 
really look deeply into that. She let him handle it mm -hmm. and just rolled with what yeah. he said. Yeah. And so when she realized that there were things not quite right, she got suspicious. Mm -hmm. And then she said, let me start keeping a, a better eye on what's going on with this process. Right. Um, and then after a while, she wasn't even interested in getting a house. The thing about the, the was it the football that he played some sort of? He played football and ended up hurting his back, said it was an injury. Yeah, he made all this money. Oh, oh. And then there was, there was the, this, when she was trying to confirm, he said that his father paid for him to be a private student or a, pri uh, what did he call it? Private citizen. A private I was like, what the hell? That. Private citizen that's when he was enrolled in school. So how does so what? you were playing sports, but you were a private citizen? And as she she made it very a good point was that NCAA rules, you have to publicize all your players. Right. So, so if he was playing like that, then he should have been listed. But for him to just be like that, well, my father paid for me to be a private, private citizen. citizen. What does that mean? Exactly. And she just kind of, okay. And just like, like what? No, it, no, uh-uh. No, there was just so many. And she admitted it in so many she, red as flags. As a matter of fact, recent interviews, she said she took red flags and turned them pink. Right. Now, I've seen that. I We, we have seen that. Yeah. For friends of ours and people that we know who got involved in relationships and it was obvious that they did not need to be together or did not do their due diligence right or what have you i i know of one young man who has a relationship that there are very obvious red flags mm -hmm. and let's hope that uh condoms are being used let's put it like that <laughs> i won't even say anymore yeah so uh, the the car situation it was two car situations the company car, and then to purchase her car. Mm. And she went out and test drove a car. He insisted on going with her to test drive a car. And there were several cars. And then she really wanted a the BMW. BMW uh, the SUV. And she said she didn't really want it at first, but he kept, you know, I want you to get a BMW, BMW, BMW. And then she was like, yeah. Right. And with the cognac interior. Cognac and in, yeah, cognac interior. And, and, and it was, so a lot of this is about material things mixed yeah. with uh, the a fast-moving relationship. Yeah. You know, so you got cars, you got houses He's going. promising to take her to Europe. Right. And the trip of that she's always wanted to go on. And so right. I think a lot of it is playing into that fantasy that many of us grew up with or or create yeah the knight in shining armor yeah. coming to rescue you to to sweep you up and throw you on the back of the horse you ride off happily ever after the fantasy of what they think they want instead of what you actually what are getting the reality the reality so, yeah. reality sets in and it's relationships take work yeah they take work they need to start off on the right foot or a good platform and not something that's made up for sure that's you know um built on a, a a pillar of of deceit and lies which this was right and so it was not it was destined not to survive yeah for sure for sure absolutely and i've seen that unfortunately i've seen that a lot with um some women who get into a certain age range and they think that I'm okay. I'm 36. I should be married by now. Come here. You know, right. they'll take the first taxi that's going by with its light on. Right. You know, and unfortunately, I've seen some men like that, too. Yeah. Some men have done that, too. Have picked young ladies or have picked women that like, dude, what are you doing? And it seems to be right now. I'm a TikTok watcher sometimes and, and watching there's a young lady now that's exposing some of these young ladies that are doing things that are very shallow. Mm, like what you talk about the the young lady who got mad that the guy took her to a date to um, the Shake Shack. Shake Shack, but it was for lunch. 
Right. And so, and the meal actually, he said, I spent fifty dollars. Which First of all, fifty dollars at Shake Shack, Shake Shack, Shake Shack. What but, are you doing? Right. <laughs> but, but fifty bucks. But it, 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 and he had two sandwiches at that. I was so, like, girl, and, and, and you can eat two. Then you see things where uh, young men are going out and they're girlfriend is expecting them to pay not even girlfriend this is just a chick that you just have a first date so with. there's like six other young ladies at a table and she's expecting you to pay for everybody's meal for a birthday celebration or whatever no i you or the the fact that they may have a child or mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. and they want to um go out and they're expecting the the prospective young man to pay for a babysitter, yeah. 200, $250 a night. If you want to go out with me, you got to pay for a babysitter for my kids. I was like, what? So now, some, some, some stuff is ladies. That's out of order. Yeah. Totally out of order. Now, granted, on the other side, I do know guys, not, well, yeah, I do know personally guys and have experienced men who will take you to the Shake Shack. And then ex buy you a, a happy meal and, and a and a milkshake, and then expect you to come milkshake it up for <laughs> afterwards. Like, okay, sir, right, sir, yeah. it, you know what? So the dating scene today is very difficult. Uh, it's I'm glad I'm not in it. Don't yeah, want right. to be in it. Uh, yeah. the, the think the expectations that are there um, for. Reese Tisa, Tessa, or something I, like that. I, I, I understand what she's dealing I, with. Mm -hmm. However, you need to pump your brakes just a little bit. Right, right. A little bit. Slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah. Take your foot off the off the throttle, you know, and coast through it a little bit just to get a better understanding of who you're dealing with mm -hmm. because you didn't have any substantial information, anything that was actually factual right. about this dude. And and like Angela said, she didn't do her Googles. Yeah, yeah. She, she didn't do her due diligence to look this dude up. An absolute out. Google could have taken care of a lot of that. Oh, oh my. Got, the puppies are awake. The uh -oh. puppies are awake. <laughs> but you know, one of the things that I thought was was is is important when you're in that dating scene or what have you that is so much different than what we had is the ability to portray to be something that you're totally not right like filters and stuff like that being able to to catfish people with yeah. uh you know or show up on a date uh, social media or what is it tinder or bumble or or uh, plenty that? of fish yeah, or all these fish. other sites where you can put up a picture and i've seen some people and we know some people who can the filter oh the filter the filter madness is 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 crazy this day. Mm -hmm. So for us, back in the early two thousands when we met, I mean, Facebook didn't exist, or if it, right, yeah. and, and, you know, the social media yeah, was yeah, those. was uh, what was that? MySpace, Black Planet, Black Planet, <laughs> Black Black Planet, and what was the other Black Voices? Oh, Black Voices, yeah, yeah, that was. And so you didn't get too much of that, although I did see. But you still had people putting up pictures that was were not, not them. them. No, not them. They that was not them. them. They were using someone else's pictures, so it makes it very difficult. I can't I mean, even tell you the number of pictures that guys would send that was just not of them, but it was of their body parts. Yeah. Are we doing that, really, people? They still do it today. Are and we? Were so we doing that? I talked. I spoke to Angie about this many times about if they do it, if they get one or two responses out of 50, they'll keep doing it. But if young ladies say, no, I'm not accepting that, mm -hmm. then it's going to stop. Right. So, so it, 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 that's the thing about it is, is the, if they get a response of them showing you a Richard pick, <laughs> right. you know, and someone responds to them, then yeah, they're going to keep doing it mm -hmm. because they got a response. Mm -hmm. That action would slow down, if not stop, if young ladies would say, I'm not putting up with this. You're not going to show me this. I don't want it and don't respond to it. So mm -hmm. um, the, the the social media thing as far as dating, 
I'm glad I don't have to be in it. I never understood what the point of putting up a really highly filtered or an old picture of you, you know, 20, 30 pounds lighter. Right. What that does to serve. I never understood that because essentially if if you're putting your 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 picture, your face out there, mm -hmm. put it out there as you are. So that way people who come to, to click up on it know what they 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 are coming because that's what they uh, like th there were a couple of times before i met angie um that young ladies put up pictures or didn't want to put up a picture because they didn't want me to see what they look like mm. and so when i got there i was like and here's the thing men are visual and this is not and I've heard many instances of people making disparaging remarks about this young lady. That, that's not what this is about. Oh, right. The, the, so so, so the, yeah. the thing about it is, is that we like what we like. There's going to be somebody that's going to come across you and go, oh, she is fine. And, and re regardless of what your physical appearance is, yeah. because they're going to like what they like. Mm -hmm. a, a buddy of mine said one, and it was very profound. He said, that's why they make chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice cream. There's a flavor for everybody. So so what your flavor is may not be someone else's. Mm -hmm. and, and we are attracted to what we like. Mm -hmm. I am not going to spend time with someone who I'm actually not attracted to. Mm -hmm. I won't even start that relationship. I'm not going to lead someone on right. because it's not fair to that person. You need to make sure make it so that they're free to meet who is going to be with them. Right, right. To and set the expectation right up front. This right. is what I look like. Boom, boom. And, this is what I look like, and like what you see. And, and if you don't like what you see, move on. And if it really is that part, if that's really a big problem for you to put your face out there, uh, then I, I suggest with love that you spend some time working on yourself and your self-esteem before you go into a relationship because right. you clearly are not ready or not relationship ready if you're dragging into it already a whole bunch of insecurities and self-esteem problems and all that kind of stuff because that's just going to be a hot mess for the relationship yeah all kinds of insecurities oh, and stuff sure. like that for sure has there ever been a time where you thought that who the heck did I marry? No. I mean, no, you can tell, honestly. No, I knew who I married. Uh -huh. I, knew, I knew who I married. Oh, you really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, I had no doubts of what I was, you know, who I was marrying, where we were going. Uh, I knew this was something that was going to be for a lifetime. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I knew. I pretty much knew who he was because Lamar, the person that Lamar is, is the same person that he portrayed himself to be and who, who shows up every day. Yeah, I, I responded to a post um, recently because you guys were met up in South Africa. And... Um, Shout out to the Exodus Summit. Hey. I didn't meet up or go to any other functions and um yes because it was for black women however there was a uh, a couple of young ladies that you know were looking for me rick a couple uh, of young ladies yeah. what are you talking about uh rashida stephanie shout out to rashida dow shout out to stephanie perry our girl yes and so um because of who i am i guess you know what i give off is I'm not a nice guy. Yeah, L Lamar is genuinely who he portrays himself as. And, and the person that you see here is is the same person that you're going to see on the street, is the same person you're going to meet at the at the at, at a bar or at a club or yeah, or which I don't go. To. Yeah, right. Well, exactly. But it's who he is. And so straight shooter, genuine, honest, kind, considerate person. That's who he is. And and I'm not saying that just because I'm his wife. I'm saying that even as his friend, yeah, that that's who he is. Yeah. He's so like my the good guy. my response was is that I'm just being who my parents raised me to be. Yes, and they did a good job. I, I give them all the credit because that's what they did. And I loved my in-laws. I really did. Okay, so 
is there, if you could give advice to the Risa Tisas, and, and before I even, before I ask this question, before I ask this question, I, I have to say this, Charlemagne, come to the, come to the front of the class for a second, come, 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 come close. The big back conversation, wow, wow, dude, talk about donkey of the day. That was completely inappropriate and uncalled for. And as a black man, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, dog. I really, I have no more respect for you, sir. Uh, so you can have the seats over there, right over there. They're, they're right over there. Have them seats. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was, that was real messy. Um, mm -hmm. that, that wasn't even, that shouldn't even be a part of the conversation. If mm -hmm. you wanted to have the conversation, discussing dating, dating online, because dating online today is, whew, like I said, I wouldn't want to be a part of it because social media, mm -hmm. uh, how people portray themselves, how they don't portray themselves, what they look like, who they, I mean, yeah. I, we watch Catfish. It's one of my shows that I watch. And just watching it over the years to see how people actually do things is crazy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely Absolute crazy. crazy. So uh, I don't, I don't want to be in that. Right, right. It, Not at all. Yeah, and and the fact that and some of the the episodes of Catfish are completely crazy, like people sending thousands of dollars to someone that you've never, never met. even met before. This, the other thing is, is that someone says that they're dating. Oh, this is Lamar's pet peeve. I, how are you dating someone that you've never been around? You've yeah. never watched them eat. You don't know what they smell like. You don't know what they, how they speak. Do they, do they mumble? Do they speak? But when they talk, I mean, you don't know anything about this person, but you say you're dating them. Right. How is that dating when you talk on the phone or just texting somebody? That's not dating to me. Yeah, it's not. I, I wouldn't. I don't know. get it. I mean, and maybe I'm just old. So I'm showing my age or whatever, but that just doesn't yeah. make sense to me. I have to be able to. It's like going to the store and picking up an item to show. Is this? My size is this what I like mm -hmm. kind of deal. I mean, Tom Hanks said it in Sleepless in Seattle. Mm -hmm. He said you try them on to see if it's a fit. See how you you know if you need to adjust yourself. Right, right, right. Yeah, but you can't do that through text and on the telephone. Right. No. No. I I don't understand it. Somebody's going to, have to explain it to me. Yes, indeed. Because that's not what I'm going to do, but I'm out of the dating game. So, <laughs> Well, listen, there were so many red flags that were, was in this particular scenario, but those red flags exist for a lot of people, I would yeah. imagine. And if she just happened to be brave enough to come out there with her stuff. Right. But if you had a red flag in your particular dating life, Drop it in the comments below because we would love to hear what yeah. your experiences were. I've had a couple red flags. I've had some red flags with some guys that, and that's what immediately got them sent to the chopping block mm -hmm. or what have you. But the red flags, I did not ignore. No. It was like. I had red flags when I was out there dating and and meeting somebody and comments that they made and i was like skirt 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 uh -uh. Ooh, mm -hmm. no that's okay we don't need to go out on any more dates yeah so yeah for me a lot of the red flags even turned into immediate letters of dismissal hmm. yo oh, oh you are dismissed for example i had a one guy that uh that i was dating or not even dating that he asked me out we had our first date very first date and he said that he has children. I said, well, how many kids do you have? Uh, I have about, um, I have about four. About, wait, wait, wait. How can you have about, you don't so know? First, oh that God. was like the first con first flag. I have about four. About? I was like, about four? Is that do you like, have do you have half, is there a half somewhere? Or is there 4.5? I mean, is that, you know, is that, are you rounding up? I mean, what, what, what is that all about? That was the first thing. Then the second thing he said is that 
I said, well, um, all by the same woman. He said, no, different mothers. Second red flag. Oh, wow. You have about four with perhaps four different baby mamas. Okay. Interesting. Eh, all right. And then he said, uh, then I was asked, wow, that's got to be a lot. That's time consuming. He was like, well, I haven't really seen my kids in a oh, couple no. of years. <clears throat> that was the nail that put it in the coffin. No. See, see, I have a thing about that. So, and, and I've given this analogy before at churches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I view, I put it in the category of a father. You know, you, you talk about a man planting his seed. Mm -hmm. Well, if you look at a farmer, he plants his seed in rich soil, mm -hmm. which is a beautiful black woman. Mm -hmm. And then he has to, what, water it? Right. fertilize it and things right. like that and take care of it. You can't just go out there and throw your seed indiscriminately out in the field thinking that it's going to grow properly. Biblically it talks about thorns and thistle growing up around and it's not going to the the it's not going to grow. Right, right. So you have to weed, you have to take care of it, it's your responsibility as a father right. to to participate in the um parenting and raising of this child. Of course. And so so you have to do all the things to make sure that this child grows properly. Right. And these dudes that talk about they're not involved, I know you suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was an immediate red flag dismissal. And and that was the only date we had. And as a matter of fact, um, he hit me up like a couple months later to go, what happened to you? You just kind of dropped off the face of the earth. I was like, no, actually, actually, no. No, didn't. Mm -hmm. Next, next, you know, because <laughs> the sign that you, if you are telling me that I don't take care of my kids off rip, what are we doing? There's nothing, there's no, there's, the, we've done, we're done here. We don't need to see anymore. Well, let's not even add in the fact that if he said he had about four. About? And there could be two or three, maybe even four. Mm -mm. mothers no out me. here that's a lot of 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 interaction it's a no for me though drama possibly hopefully not but it's inevitable that you're dealing with three or four different women who you've been involved with who you've been attracted to who are still maybe because we've seen it where these women are trying or wanting to be back in relationship with these guys and right. trying to do this and 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 take care of it so um, it's it, it becomes a, a thing of of how am I going to deal with this? Right, right, so. right. We have spent a, a interesting conversational time. Right, but our puppies are not having it. Right, and I'm not sure if you guys could hear them barking in the background. Right, and They're fighting. fighting in the background. We have two new puppies. Two uh, new additions to Coco our Coco and Louis. Coco Chanel and Louis Vuitton Martin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coco is uh, 0.7 pounds, oh, and, yeah. and and Louis is 0. 0.9. Wax. Well, she's mm -hmm. put a little two bit. Two little more. Yorkie babies, babies that we welcome to our family, as long as well as Candy. Candy, our big girl, our 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 suit. Now she's she's getting kind of elderly. She's eleven. She's eleven. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's getting kind of up there. Yeah, right, Kang. But she's still my girl. But anyway. Anyway, so we wanted to give our two and a half cents our on, <laughs> on this whole thing. Right. Uh, I, I wish her much success. I uh, wish yeah. her well. I hope that in her journey of dating, I hope that she finds the love and the relationships that she wants. Hang in there, hang and, in there. And, and I know, especially if you want children, you want a family, I get it. Um, but hang in there. We're praying for you. Yep. And uh, we hope things There are good out. guys out there. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're good, good guys. guys. Just, just pump down, pump the brakes. Easy. Easy, easy, right. easy. And just do your Googles. Do your research. Do your internal work. Yes. Heal yourself. Make sure you are whole and happy and ready to receive all that God has for you.
and whoever that is. Yeah. God will bring it to you. In yeah, the right God, time. yeah, he will. He mm -hmm. will. Um, but th the signs were there. Next time, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to them signs because those signs are there for a warning. Yeah. And also pay attention to the sign that's below. Make sure that you follow us on all of our social media. You can follow us at Lamar and Angela, A-N-D actually spelled out. Right. And then also don't forget to like and subscribe, subscribe to this video. video. Again, we are on a journey to find, have life and have life abundantly, abundantly. whatever that looks for. And relationships. Yeah play a big part in that abundance. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we thank you for tuning in for yep. us. Yep. Take care. Bye. Bye.